Well, we did think maybe that we'd seen the last of Skelton, as mentioned, after he lost to Michael Sprott in prize fighter here. He was out of the ring for a long time, but I was ringside in Sheffield last year when he took Dom Tap Tom Dallas apart. He really did as well. It was a tremendous performance. Dallas really hasn't recovered from it. And that just served notice that there was still fuel left in the tank for Matt Skelton. Yeah, Matt Doom has been caught with a few right hands so far. So he's just got to be careful. McDermott trying to work away on the inside. Referee Ian John Lewis trying to get in the middle of the two of them and break them up. There's that right hand again from, from Skelton. Does come in quite low with that head Skelton at times. They're exactly the same height according to the tailor of the tape, these two, both six foot three. Skelton seems to be a little bit sharper in this round. He's getting his jab going. As I said, landed a few right hands and oh there it goes again over the top. McDermott doesn't be seem to be doing as much work as he was in the first round. Interestingly, these two were both off with a place in the recent prize fighter here that Audley Harrison won. Neither were interested, they knew this fight was on the horizon. Just getting backed up onto the ropes and Skelton trying to get McDermott where he wants him there. He almost had him in position.